Hey friends, welcome to this video on how to eliminate unwanted sounds using Spectra Layers Elements. Let's start by listening to this recording. Okay, the problem is obvious acoustic guitar string squeaks. A very typical problem, in this case a very serious one, but it can be fixed in Spectra Layers. Let's begin by going all the way to the top right of the interface where we have the display panel. Here I have contrast controls where I can dial in just the right setting to see the offending frequencies. Now you can see that although this string squeak is really obtrusive and a deal breaker, the problem is caused by very, very fast spikes, very fast transients of really high amplitude that basically ruin the sound. We can erase these in spectral layers using the eraser tool, which is right here, which I have selected. Up on top, we have parameters for adjusting the tool. Size, aspect ratio, which is sort of the difference between circular and oval shapes. The hardness control defines how close to the edge of the eraser tool the attenuation is going to happen. In the very middle of the tool, you get the most attenuation, and at 50% out toward the edge, you get, I don't know, probably about half that, I would guess, you know, since it's 50%. The attenuation control describes how deep we're going to cut into the sound. I have it set here for 18 decibels. If you look, you can see that if I hover my eraser tool over the frequency, it darkens it. And it darkens it quite a bit, so I'm going to turn the attenuation control down just a couple more dB to 16. I want to see just a little bit more light shining through that tool, just like this. Now, the rest is easy. I just click over the tops of the transients, and the color, as they become attenuated, the color sort of gets dialed down to a shade that is close to the surrounding color. Basically what we're doing here is we're evening out the amplitude of these peaks. And again, it's really worth noting that it doesn't take an incredible amount of space to um, create such an obtrusive sound. I mean, like, you know, this sound is ruined by just a couple of spikes that we've just attenuated using the eraser tool here in Spectral Layers Elements. What does this sound like? Let's find out. Wow. Well, that's a great fix. Let's just dial back our attenuation, maybe three more dB, and then we'll hit a couple of these other areas. Now here I'm getting kind of super detailed. I mean, the sound is already fixed. I'm just sort of trying to fix it even more. The more you work at this, the better you get. So let's uh, let's check this out. Well, that's a really nice fix. And it didn't even take as long to do this as it would take to set up an EQ or a finicky DSer that, you know, might not even work anyway. But this is a super efficient way to um, get rid of those sounds. Let's do a little bit of AAB comparison here. Here's the original. Ouch. And here's our fix. That's music to my ears, and we have salvaged a file. Now, when you're in a recording session and you have a client who is playing an acoustic guitar, and uh, you hear these things go by as you're recording, you think to yourself, I can fix that, I can fix that, I can fix that. And then later you fix it right in front of your client and everybody's happy. Um, on the other hand, if you were to stop your client and say, hey, you know, can you try not making so many squeaks? That might make him a little bit insecure and uh, it might take him out of the moment a little bit. So uh, the best thing to do is just let those players do what they're going to do and then uh, go in there and fix it after. And when I say fix it, I mean you can really fix it, and it's not a problem. Great stuff. Thanks for watching this. See you next time.